Hey, Jack Squad, YouTube family. How's everybody doing today? Hope everybody's doing well. And I hope you're making it happen for yourself. You got to make it happen for yourself, right? Um, happy Friday. I uh, hope everybody's remaining safe. Uh, let me say this before I get started. Even though I know everybody didn't have their shot and did all that stuff. If y'all watch the news, if y'all been on the internet, uh, there is a um, another variant of the corona that they say is even deadlier. It's called the Delta. I guess the first one was called the Alpha. This is called the Delta, right? So now, I said all that to say this. I'm not trying to be the, the daughter of doom, but I said this to say that continue to wear your mask. I know you got your shot and everybody think it's safe. You know, I seen a sign today at Burger King's that said, um, and, 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 and this puzzles me. Like, why is everybody so ready to take off the mask and not protect themselves? Like, that don't make sense to me, right? But anyway, um, uh, the, the little sign at Burger King said, um, we, everybody here has had the shot, so we don't have to wear the mask. The little sign, that's what Burger King said. Nobody had it. Now, if you go to other restaurants, they still have on masks. If you go to the doctor, if you go to the pharmacy, any of those health places, they still got on masks. Listen, unless you see the doctors and the nurses with no mask, y'all better keep wearing the mask now, okay? Now, anyway, that was just a little PSA, right? Um... Uh, drop down in the description box and like, share, comment, subscribe. Like, share, comment, subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell so that you'll know when I upload um, new videos. And all of my social media sites are uh, in the description box as well as my cash app and my email, right? Uh, welcome all suggestions. Um, any topics you want to talk about? Uh, uh, you know, I am in need of financial support, um, and I appreciate anything that anybody can do for me. Okay, all the preliminaries are out the way. Y'all, I want to talk about my girls on Encore, BET's show called Encore, where they got nine girls in a house. Uh, they have to make an album, nine songs in 30 days. Now that all, even if they was at top condition, that sounds crazy, right? I don't know how the artist's mind works because I'm not a singer, but I think you would need a little more than 90 days, especially with that people that you don't know and you ain't worked with. Okay. Now, let me tell y'all who getting on my nerves, as always. Keely, the girl from 3LW and Cheetah Girls, and, um, shit, I forgot her name. I'm looking right at her face. Aubrey, right? Now, what I didn't know, I had forgot that that girl, Naturi Houghton on Power, was part of the, she was either part of 3LW or part of the Cheetah Girls. She was part of one of them. And her and Keely got into a fight. So they've been talking about that on the internet this week. I think Keely hit her first and threw something at her or threw a drink on her or something, 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 right? But anyway, y'all, Keely isn't serving a purpose. Like, she's not serving, I don't know why she's there. Did she just need a check? Did she call up um, Carlos and say, hey, I need a check, put me in on that? Because she's not attempting to sing. She's not doing nothing, but just sitting there and, and drinking and talking shit. Like, I, I don't know what her purpose is. Um, and I'm dying to know when they do get all the songs, because they have two songs now. When they do get all the songs and they perform, what's she going to be doing? Or is she waiting on them to get all the songs? Because they have a choreographer, so they don't need her to uh, teach them nothing, I don't think. Right? But anyway, that Aubrey. Aubrey is so so messy and so extra and so need all the attention like first of all you got all the attention you got it because you're a puffy white girl with blue eyes that's enough you got enough if you just stand up in the corner you have all the attention okay you got enough attention sis and she wants to run everything she wants to do everything she gets upset when it don't go her way like Seemed like after your episode with Puffy, and I know you done had some episodes with people through the years, <clears throat> you would say, well, let me sit back and let's, let me listen to them and see how this going to go. Seemed like, right? And when they're interviewing her, her eyes is blue, her cheekbones is high, her breast is coming out of her shirt. Like her, she'll have on a shirt to, to, to right here. It, it, it's not attractive. Maybe it is. I'm not a man. But it, it's not clad. It's not. <clears throat> it don't look good. But anyway. She, so, she tried to rearrange some things. i tell you who else getting them in her. Now, I gave them a break last week with the twins. The twins really think they the shit. And it would seem like 
You know, the one twin that does all the producing, I don't know which, what her name is, that say she do all the producing, she had nerve to say she better than the producers they brought in. Like, shit, she told them you can go. These girls' egos are so big. And I guess if I was a singer and I was cute or used to be cute, my head might be big too. I don't know. But once again, my girl Shamari is level-headed. She cool. She cute. She talked to her husband, Ronnie. She said, I thank you. For basically, she was saying, I, t I thank you for telling me how the game go and how to deal with multiple people. And it shows. He schooled her because he's 50-something. She, I think she's 30-something, right? She just had twins maybe three, four years ago. So she's considerably younger than him, and she's listening to his tutelage, right? Because she's the only one. See, let me tell y'all. I'm going to go off track a little bit. When your man pouring to you, that's what it look like. That's what it look like. When he causing you chaos and bullshit, didn't look like that other shit, right? But when he's pouring into you and coming from a genuine place in his heart, that's what you look like, Shamari. That's what you look like. And also, it's her. It's their anniversary. I think they say 15 years. They've been together 15 years. They've been together a long time. He must. They must have been together since when she was like 18 or something young. But they've been together um, a long 15 years, right? And um, you know, she talked to her twin. Them twins. You know, them twins make. Um, they're cute. They make. Ronnie and Shamari look like brother and sister. They tie, the twins tie them together. They all look alike, right? But they're cute. But um, Shamari's still my number one. She's still my number one. And for Pam, this is what I don't understand about Pam. For Pam to be the oldest, it seemed like you step in there and say, hey, hey, goddammit, wait a fucking minute, shit. And they would respect that, right? But because she's so timid, I was taking it as humble. I'm not saying she's not humble. She's humble. But you got to say something. You just, and when stuff get too hot, she walk out. You know, uh, I guess she's triggered by things. I don't know if she's all the way got herself together. Like I said before, I don't know if this is the place for her. Um, especially if she's easily triggered. That definitely, because that house is chaotic. Like, chaotic, right? So, they were, what were they supposed to be doing? So, they voted. Now, they voted for LaMisha. Her name's Misha. To be the queen. Namisha is not, um, uh, what's the word I want to use? She's not, she's not, what's the word I want to use for her? She don't know how to stand up in what she's saying. She'll say it, but she don't know how to be assertive enough when she's saying what she's saying, right? So, I think Aubrey, you know, Aubrey, matter of fact, it was a tie, and Aubrey broke the tie. But anyway, because she was the queen. She got mad about something. I forgot what she got mad about because it was so much chaos in that one hour that they couldn't find it. They looking all over the house. Aubrey, Aubrey, Aubrey. And she took her mattress somewhere. Well, you know, if she took the mattress, she ain't went far. Fuck her. I wouldn't look for her. I wouldn't. She evidently, she, if you wanted to be gone, then be gone. I wouldn't look for you. But what she's doing, you know, some people are sabotagers, right? And she's doing the same thing, like I said, she did in Danny K. She's a self-sabotager, especially if it doesn't go her way. I wish I could remember what it was, Puffy. I think it was something they he wanted her to wear or something they were supposed to do. But it was it was a group thing, and she would not do it. I can't remember. It was a long time ago. But um, uh, they were looking all over for her, looking for her, looking for her, looking for her, right? And then I think she left a note. You know, she's just so extra, like, girl... Ain't nobody, wasn't well, nobody checking for you no way, I don't think, in the industry. But they definitely not going to be now. If, if singing is your career and that's what you want to do because she says she's young and she got her whole life and she look old, she look like she's 45. But if this is what you want to do, this is, you, you're not setting a good example. you really not. And Carlos King got a lot of connections. This, you're, not, you're not setting a good example, right? So um, she came back the next day, a couple of days or something like nothing happened. Hi, everyone. Good morning. You know, I'm still waiting on someone to effectively check her without the holler, just straight up in her face, talk to her, right? Uh, and the twins, you know, they get angry. Now, the twins, the twins got mad about something. They're just like little kids to me. The twins got mad about something and said, oh, they out. They done. They ain't doing it no more. So we'll see what happens next week. But the twins... The one twin that's doing the producing and the writing and the singing and everything. So they told him, hey, y'all can't sing all the songs. Y'all can't be on all the songs because there's only three songs that everyone must be on. 
The other songs, you know, a couple people here, a couple people there, however they want to do it, but the twins want to be on all the songs. That's what they were arguing about, the order of the songs, because they're having a um, listening party. And at the listening party, now this is going to get messy. At the listening party, it's going to be members, other members of the groups that they were in. Can you imagine? And I know for a fact, Lamisha and whatever that girl, Irish, the girl that was in their group, the dark-skinned girl I told you that was, had the baby by Music Soul Child, they didn't get along. It was three of them, they didn't get along. So I, I wanna see, I'm, I'm anxious to see if she's gonna even come. But it's gonna be people who they were in there. So that means the Tory Hart is gonna come. This is gonna be good, y'all. This is gonna be good. And the girl, Adrian Ballone or whatever, I don't know how to pronounce her last name. She's on um, The Real now. She's in that group, one of those groups too with, with Keely, right? So it's gonna be some folks on there that comes. And then I do see on the previews that, um, Ronnie, I'm going to call him Ronnie New Edition because I don't know their last name. Ronnie. What is Ronnie? Somebody named Ricky Bell. I don't know Ronnie's last name. But anyway, Ronnie's going to come and he's going to bring a whole bunch of balloons and flowers and all this stuff, I guess, to celebrate their anniversary. You know, they really look like a nice, sweet couple, right? They look like that on um, Housewives. She just wasn't sharky enough for them girls on Housewives. You know, she just wasn't sharky enough, right? Um, but, um... She's a nice girl, you know. You you gotta be you gotta be a whole bunch of things to deal with them housewives. But um, so we're gonna see what the listening party gonna bring, right? Like I said, they got two songs now. They need nine. I don't know how many days left because they don't they don't say. But that Aubrey, Aubrey, and so Aubrey and the twins, they're the ones wanna be in charge. Keely do too, but she she she'll she'll throw some shit and then she step back, right? The twins want certain songs. And I don't know why the twins think that they're the most important. Because they're not. And if you were going on value, like, or popularity, I should say, Pam is really the most popular one to me. Let me see. Who else he got? Maybe Nibia. Let me see. Who it would be? It would be Pam to me. Because Pam, like I said, Pam was everything in total. She was bad boy. She was bad boy, right? But to see her now, you know, people evolve, they change, and all that stuff. That's nice. But it's, in terms of popularity, it would be Nibia or uh, Pam or maybe even Keely. She was in two groups. Who else we got on there? That would be because uh, I wouldn't know who the. Now I know Keely's face, you know, but Nibia and Pam are probably the most popular to me, right? Uh, Aubrey, you know, we know who she is, but, you know, um, uh, who else we got on there? But anyway, uh, the twins, you're the least. I know that. No matter who else is on there, the twins are the least. But they think they're doing the most. They think they are the most important and the show can't go on without them. So, like I said, last uh, last episode, they said they leave it. And they went probably went upstairs. They'll be back down, right? But Because uh, I believe they probably signed a contract or something, you know what I mean? I, I don't think they just... Uh, brought them people there. They didn't have to sign something to say that you're going to stay or something like that, right? But um, um, I'm dying to hear. Now, Aubrey, I don't think, has yet to sing on, do her part on one of the songs, right? And what I don't understand, so they got the, chore the choreographers there a lot. Seemed like for those that can't dance, y'all would be practicing dance, learning how to move your body. Seemed like. Instead of stirring up shit, like they had the biggest arguments. And then they had an argument in front of the producers, that's unprofessional. But the one producer is kind of messy like a, like a female though, right? And so he got into it and he said, well, we're going to do, I've never really seen a man do this. He said, we're going to all talk about it together because the twins, I retold him something that the twins said or vice versa. And so he said, well, we're going to wait till we all get in here and, and do it. Now, as a man, he was supposed to squash it and say, listen, I don't care who said what. We can make do the music, blah, blah, blah. He was like, nah, come on in here because we're going to all find out. We're going to find out. Nah, just like a bitch, right? I was like, ugh, you keeping up the mess, which he is. He's keeping up the mess, one of the producers. The other one was like, look, all I care about is we get these songs, which is what a man should have said. They was arguing so much. I don't know what the what the guys, the soundboard guy, I don't know what his name, the technician or whatever they is that do the they, he just sat there with his mask on and kept working. I was like, Lord, look at them, they just clowning. They just clowning, right? So I don't know, y'all. It's uh I, I'm sure it's gonna get together, but the process is is hilarious to watch and very entertaining to watch the process. I really wish that they would 
this is what I didn't understand. How did y'all put all these women, even though they're women, they're grown, in a house and didn't put nobody in charge, like to say, this is, and give it structure. That's all, just to give it, I shouldn't even say in charge, but someone to give them structure, like, okay, today we're doing this, tomorrow we're doing this, because it seems like it would be a lot, it would, seems like right now, it looks like they're wasting time and money. To me, that's what it looked like. Now, you know, all kinds of shit go on behind the scenes and all through the day. And uh, I know that one day they were arguing. It was like, okay, we're going to all go to bed and reset. It's 1 o'clock in the morning. So I guess they've been having confusion the whole day. Like, I couldn't live like that. I could not. I could not. And uh, <clears throat> Nivea <clears throat> provides uh, comedic relief. She just sitting over there. She said, I'm just waiting on a snack. You know, they, they you know. It's just seems like they're defeating the purpose of what they come for, especially the twins and Aubrey, right? It's like, y'all gonna just argue every day? We just gonna argue every day, all day, every day, instead of saying, okay, I can't have my way this time, let's do it this way. Seems like that's what you would say, you know? But again, them twins is like little girls. I, 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 must, I, I, don't, I need to Google how old they are. They, I, I, they must be in their 20s. I don't believe they're in their thirties yet, cause they don't, they don't really, they, the maturity level, I don't see it. Seems like somebody told them that too, about their maturity level or something like that. But you know, when you're in your twenties, nobody can tell you nothing, right? Nobody, nobody can tell you nothing, right? So, um, you know, I'm, I'm anxious to see, I'm still watching y'all. If y'all ain't tuned in, catch up on BET On Demand. Um, I'm still watching. Now tonight is Friday. Now y'all know what night, I ain't even had a chance y'all to tell my dating stories. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get them together next week or maybe in the next couple of weeks. Um, but um, tonight is Love After Lockup and I'm gonna be talking about that. But also, I'm going to probably tomorrow, if I if I watch it tonight, in which I probably will because it's only 30 minutes, I'm a little disappointed in that. Um, the State of Black America with Soledad O'Brien, the reporter, um, she's gonna be interviewing uh, Vice President uh, Kamala Harris, I like to call her Cousin Cammy, right? And um, uh, she's going to interview her. So when I went today to record it, just in case I forgot or I was busy or doing something, um, or I'm watching Love After Lockup, when I went to record it, because I was initially thinking it would at least be an hour. I really wanted it to be like 90 minutes, right? I don't know if you could address everything in 30 minutes. That's my thing, right? But I guess you can. You got your talking points. But, um, so when I saw that it was 30 minutes, I was, I was a little, you know, I, at first, I was two-sided about it. Like, okay, cool, I, can only, I only gotta watch 30 minutes. But then I was like, is, she, is that enough time to say what she needs to be said? Because shit, I can tell you a whole bunch about black America. I'm, and I'm dying to see what she has to say. Um, yeah, I'm dying to see what she has to say. So anyway, y'all, I'm getting ready to go do some things. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go do some things, right? Um, I just want to talk about Encore, because you know, I'm, I'm committed, y'all, to the video a day. When I get enough time, I'm going to try to do two, but I'm committed, because that way I can tell what's going on in TV land and in the world and in my life, right? I haven't been able to tell y'all my little funny shit shenanigans going on, right? Which ain't much. Or prior shenanigans, because ain't nothing going on with me now, right? But, um... Anyway, y'all, um, I appreciate y'all watching Jackie the Q. No, I didn't have no subs today because I, I ain't really had time, y'all. It's going to come a time when I have time, but I don't really have a lot of time right now for stuff. You know, I'm, I'm, my day, I wake up at 6 and it, is, it goes all the way to shit sometime 2 in the morning because I can't go to sleep when I settle down after I get off the phone and watch TV and all that stuff. It takes me a while to settle down. So anyway, y'all. Thanks for watching Jackie with a Q. Um, I'll be talking to you guys tomorrow because, I, like I said, I'm going to watch that uh, State of Black America with Vice President Kamala um, Harris. And then I'm also going to watch, uh, I'm going to watch uh, Love After Lockup. And then Sunday, part two of Married to Medicine. I was waiting on that last Sunday. I was disappointed. Uh, Fourth of July, shit, damn Fourth of July. But um, I'm waiting on that. And then I might talk about, I'm going to wait a while and talk about um, love and hip-hop. You know, I'm going to wait a while. But anyway, y'all, thanks for watching Jackie the Q. Everybody be good. And remember to keep wearing your mask, y'all. This shit is out here still. Keep with, Don't listen. Listen, you better pay attention. Keep wearing your mask. Bye-bye.